But let's just say, for an example, heaven, heaven forbid that it should ever happen, and I hope it never does. But let's look at the picture. Let's look at the scenario. You know how there's plane crashes happening a little more often than, than it used to be? What happens if a great big 7, 747, or even a bigger one, yet on top? Something happens to it, and it comes in, has no control, and comes sliding right through this community. Crash landing into this community. There'll be homes will be flying, vehicles will be flying, bodies will be flying, fires will be taking place, and how how far will that 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 huge machine slide before it comes to a stop? Are you prepared? Are you prepared to jump into an emergency situation like that to deal with that? You might some of you might think that you are well. Uh, uh, the chairman and them they set up this uh, uh, emergency response team, and uh, th that's their job. Oh wait a minute! Oh wait a minute! Uh, if you're from this clan, that is your responsibility. That is your job, because these other people are expecting you to make sure that that's going to be taken care of when that happens. And I'm not saying that you have to uh, push out these other organizations that are there now and, and, and this clan is going to take over. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you're from this clan, you should start developing. You should know everything about first aid. You should learn about that. Uh, St. John's Ambulance. I don't know if you have that over here. That, uh, or CPR. CPR. Uh, I think we call it over there, we call it St. John's Ambulance. Of course, CPR, you learn that, and all those little things like that. You should have some kind of an emergency response vehicle and information and, and, and uh, all, uh, all the stuff that you might need. Bandages and, and uh, uh, oxygen in case somebody needs uh, air uh, and those kinds of things. You should have that uh, from this plan. How many people are, uh, let me say, First of all, the Martin clan, there's several in there. Martin is the boss of that clan, but there's sub-clans, which is the Wolf clan, uh, Lynx, the Martin, of course, Fox, Beaver, Muskrat, um, Otter. Uh, there, there's several of them, there's lots of them. They all fit into this clan here. If you are a part of that clan, maybe you should start to start looking at planning to take to develop yourselves around that plan system of yours. Because that's your responsibility. And I'm not saying that you uh, you should go out there and uh, demand a job from the chairman over here because I am from that plan and it's my job to do this. That, that's not what we're that's not what this is all about. But you should start planning here for yourself. And that and and, and, and if you get all of your clan members in, in this community together under under here and start talking about it, planning, strategies. That's what you're, you're supposed to get at that. And warriors will get you that. And I've used this example several times before in the past in, <coughs> in speaking like this to a uh, different community. Uh, let's say, for example, <coughs> uh, Rosa River warriors decided to come and uh, wipe out Red Lake. First of all, you guys would have had a chance, of course. We would send our women first. <laughs> send them all. <laughs> but let's see, use that picture for an example. And uh, somehow, word came to the Red Lake here that there's a bunch of warriors coming from uh, Rosa River. All five of them. <laughs> wipe out this place. Four of them are women. <laughs> okay, you would kick into gear here. Because you know they're coming and it's going to take, let's say, three days to get here. Let's just say that. 
And okay, uh, your plan of action should be, well, what do we got here in, in, in Red Lake? What do we got here for clubs, uh, baseball bats, uh, shanks, <laughs> chains, ammunition, guns, hunting rifles, whatever. That's, you, you would organize around that. And where are they going to come from? There's rows of people. Well, there's a highway there. You can stop and take care of for two days and eat up the buffet over there. <laughs> well, they come down this highway, but they might come down this highway from Bermidji, or they might come down this highway from uh, Shooks. Is it Shooks? Or they might uh, cut across the lake there and come through Panema with their canoes. And they, they, these guys from over and don't need all their paddles, so don't worry about that part. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you would develop strategy around that. And, uh, of course, Rosa would have already done the planning as how, how are we going to get to the Red Lake? One of the things we would do, I would think, is that, well, where is their food? How did their food get into that town, into that community? How do we block that? Where's their water supply? How do we block that? Well, I mean, that, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'll look at that. See? And then uh, we'll look at all those different things. How can, we, how can we make them suffer before we get there and we can? That's how I would plan it out anyway. And then your greatest tragedy would be uh, lift up the payouts at the casino. We're going to spend a lot of time before we get here. <laughs> but then your, your response here uh, that in, 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 in preparation for that attack from Rosal would be, say, where's our water supply? How long would we last if they ever got it out? I mean, you got a lake here, I know that, but uh, uh, if that was to be shut off, if we were to cut off all the roads and access to this, to this place, how long would your food last? How long, what kind of ammunition do you have? What kind of uh, uh, arms do you have? And so on and so on. We look at all those things. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying just that. Checking that all out, but you look at the strategy of that. In the same way that you would look at a big uh, seven, uh, uh, 747 crash landing right in the middle of your, your community. How would you respond to that? Are you ready for that? Or are you going to depend on somebody else that's out there? Emergency response teams, uh, you know, are you going to wait for uh, somebody from uh, Bemidji to come over here? Or are you going to wait for your tribal police to be there? Or, or uh, well, that's their job anyway. You know, is that what you're going to do? Those are things that we can sit, we have to look at. If you have a, that, you know that pandemic that's been <coughs> talked about so much, uh, H1N1, swine flu. Is there, is, do you have a plan of action here? <coughs> for this organization, for this plan? And, and so on, and so on. I mean, you can go on and on and on about the different things that could happen here in Red Lake that you should know about, that, that people should know about. And, and this client should know for sure about it. Have a set of plans in place for every event. Tornadoes. A snowstorm that's going to last, a blizzard that's going to last three weeks. What about old grandma and grandpa that are living by themselves back down there, over there? If there was a storm here for three weeks in the wintertime, and it's so bad that the hydro kicked out. What about grandma and grandpa that live over there? Who's going to take care of them? The police? There you go. Then how are you going to do that? How are you going to get there? Those are things you got to plan out. <laughs> Snowshoes, all those things, you have to plan it out. What are we going to do in the event of? Oh. Somebody should be looking at that.